quite a quality upgrade, isn't it? New camera. Okay, it's so thick it now has broken my mixing stick, so I guess we'll give it a shot, put it on, and see how it wants to spread. Okay, this is my plan here. Apply it, spread it on, fill the gaps, and win. That's my theory. Let's see how that plays out. Really, really hope this stuff sands as easy as I think it's going to. Otherwise, this is going to be <laughs> quite an adventure to get off. That's what this stuff's for, though. It's fairing filler. It's supposed to be super light and super sandable. So, I guess we'll see how that goes. There's definitely going to be plenty of it, though, I can tell you that much. Nice. There's a couple of dry spots. Um, and I think a lot of it will sand out. I'm still going to give it a little love over here. Um, if you watch a really, really old video of mine, my former roommate Brennan, we fiberglassed his PML Callisto and basically covered the whole thing with Bondo, and it was a nightmare to paint, or to sand it all down, but the paint came out so good. And considering this is the quest for the perfect paint job, um, I have a feeling this is not going to be our last stop for filler, but I, I'm just, like I said, very nostalgic about this rocket. So I just want to make it super, super good. The one I got from Crazy Jim when I was little was like so meticulously well finished and so nice. And it's a small enough rocket that like it's not going to be a nightmare to fix all the little issues. And we've got all winter before it's flying season. So I should have plenty of time to get this thing where I want it. And I know, the longer you spend making it look nice, the less your chances of getting back are, but that's a risk I'm willing to take here. This thing's pretty dang bulletproof. Alright, so I started sanding this and I can certainly tell you, um, don't use this like this, <laughs> uh, yeah, not good, not good at all. Um, it's probably a little bit easier to sand than wet systems with colloidal silica in it, but not by a lot. You're still sanding epoxy. So, um, I'm going to go get some, some pads for a power sander and we're going to do this with power tools now. You see, here at Rocky Vlogs, we experiment with things like this so you don't have to. Okay, um, it's pretty well sanded, West 407. If you have some, throw it in the trash. No, it wasn't that bad, especially if you can machine sand it, but um, I probably, if I was to do this again, would just do standard Bondo. It sands out a little bit faster. This stuff's probably going to be way stronger, but being just a body filler doesn't really matter that much. In my head, it added a ton of weight, but I don't think it actually did. I think that's just me being paranoid. I'm going to go get some filler primer, put a quick coat on this thing, and I'm going to get out of here and go 
take a shower and get all this fiberglass dust off of me. All right. Got everything masked for the most part. You know, pretty lazy masking job. The nose cone fits in there super loose in the first place. So I'm not worried about that being open. And we're just going to give it a shot with some filler primer and see what we get. Well, that's definitely not the result I was hoping for. I, to be fair, the spots where the West System stuff was is very, very smooth and nice. Uh, you can see some of it right there. But the uh, filler primer didn't quite fill as much as I was hoping for. And uh, I think sanding it out is going to help a lot after it dries. But uh, for now, I'm going to just leave this alone before I start getting frustrated with it. But uh, yeah, so I was going to do a nice long video, you know, end to end painting this thing, but it's just going to be a lot of sanding. And you guys have seen more than enough sanding videos, and I got to sand the Honest John before I can finish painting that. And I got a million other things I'm sure I can sand. So if I really wanted to make an hour and a half long sanding video, I could whip you guys one up. But I'm sure that's not what anybody here wants. So I'll probably just work on this, finish it up in the background, and I will bring you guys a uh, more complete proje project, more complete product once it's, you know, more done than this. But, uh, yeah. So, I mean, filling fiberglass cloth weave is always a little difficult, um, and I had a lot more plainly visible uh, issues now after... I thought the um, Mylar wrap did a lot better job filling it all in than this did. So what's probably going to have to happen is I'm probably going to have to uh, basically use body filler on this whole thing, which means I'm probably going to sand about 90% of that primer I just sprayed on back off. That way I can get the fill that's all smoothed out and leveled. You can see the texture I got there. Um, I just had everything sanded down so I couldn't really see what was going on, which was kind of the purpose as usual you guys know I use primer to kind of highlight problem areas and go back and refill them um, there's just a lot more problem spots on this thing than I was anticipating that's okay it's a small rocket it's not gonna take that long to do it's Friday December 30th tomorrow me and Shane are flying to Kansas City we're gonna do a New Year's rocket resolutions video with Taylor over at the rocket channel from the anti-gravity group and uh, we're going to show you guys our New Year's fireworks display we're doing at his house in Missouri. And uh, yeah, so we got some cool rocket project announcements and a really big giveaway announcement that I'm going to be making. Uh, you're definitely going to want to tune in. I think we're going to try and do a live stream while I'm there as well. But uh, yeah, you guys know my channel goal for 2023 is 50,000 subscribers. And hmm, how can I hint at this? The biggest diameter rocket you can see in this shot right now is the same diameter as the rocket I'll be giving away. Um, somebody is going to get a rocket that is capable of getting them a level 3 certification. So, assuming we hit 50,000 subscribers, more details on that in the next video. But uh, as usual, thank you guys for making such an awesome year of my life. 2022 was fantastic and I had a good time. Got to go to so many launches I dreamed about as a kid. Red Glare, Midwest Power, of course, back to Argonia. And uh, yeah, 2023 is going to be awesome too. I hope you guys like the camera quality upgrade up there. It's, well, again, one of my dream cameras. And you guys are uh, part of making that a reality as well. So it's been an awesome year. We're having a lot of fun. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. 50,000 subscribers is the goal by 2023. And we're giving away a cool rocket if we can hit that goal. So, uh, yeah. Special thank you for my Patreon supporters and channel members. Names are sliding across the screen right now. My name is Braden. This is Rocky Vlogs. And uh, I will see you guys when I meet it this time. I'll see you guys next year.